Paul P. Harris was the founder of Rotary, the world's first and most international service club. And in the year February 2000, in February 1905, he formed the first club with three of his low clients, a coal merchant, a mining engineer, and a merchant tailor. And because of the groups meeting occasions being prostituting from one member's place of business to the next, old Harris christened his new club, Rotary. This is how the name Rotary came into being. This is a short speech of my welcome address, and I extend uh, a well, warm welcome on behalf of Rotary Club Kohima to everyone <coughs> present here. Now we go into the next one, that is the secretary report. The secretary 2021 to 2022 is Rotary Dr. Ketu Lendu Now I request our secretary to come and uh, give our talk report. With Assistant Governor Rotary Ashok Agarwal as the Installation Officer, and the new office bearers were installed for the tenure 2021 to 2022. <clears throat> as part of COVID response project, on 21st August 2021, Rotary Club of Kohima, along with various Rotary Internationals, including Rotary Club of Saint Mary Geros of France, Rotary Club of Mumbai Kapoor, Rotary Club of Nagpur Southeast, Indian Chamber of uh, International Business donated three oxygen concentrators to the State Health Department at the Chief Minister's Office. <coughs> then again, Rotary Club, Rotary International, Rotary Club of Bahia donated a sanitary napkin vending machine to the government high school at Kohima New Market Colony on 12 October 2021. <coughs> the students were also taught about the safe disposal of sanitary napkins. Rotary Club Kohima partnered in partner, partnership with Rotary Club of Dibrugar and PDG Nancy Barbie from USA donated hand sanitizers, medical face masks, oximeters, oxygen concentrators, concentrators to the community health center, Futsaro and primary health center, Kazakeno under the district on 22nd October 2022. <coughs> district Governor um, Dr. Mohan S. Conwar along with his first lady visited Rotary Club on 29 October. We also visited the Good Samaritan Seniors Homestay, <coughs> Senior Citizens Home at Merima and donated items like bread, biscuits, rice, and dolls for the events. On the 18th Chartered Night of the Club was celebrated on 20, 22nd November 2021 at the Capital Convention Center, New Secretary Area. The event was attended by fellow club members and families. The club organized a set of function on 17 January 2022 for Rotary Coats of Coast and Rotary Lakshmi from Rotary Club of Navi Mumbai. To care others, to share with others, and thinking of others even before I think of myself. Vivekananda, one of the India's greatest philosophers said, when you help someone, do not think that you are obliging him or her. In fact, it is he or she who is obliging you by giving an opportunity to give back something to this world from where we have received so much. This is supposed to be my acceptance speech. I happily accept the responsibility of looking after the club for this coming year, July to the next of July this year. Many of you will be wondering why is it such a hurried kind of a responsibility that keeps on taking place. 
Rotary is actually a club that teaches leadership to all members. To all members become Rotarians. Everyone is taught to be a leader. And therefore, one person can be a president just for that tenure of one year, which is July to the next July, and the rest follows soon. So everyone who is a member of the club will get a chance to be the president of the club and also be executive members of the club that we still have with children. So we will continue the gift of life. In fact, I think there's still an applicant right now also to the club for the gift of life, uh, life a small child, and we definitely will be continuing this. Peace, peace is actually, peace and conflict resolution is a major activity of the Rotary International. Uh, Rotary International actually has many, many peace scholars, Rotary peace scholars, who are studying in different parts. It's one of the best universities in the world, and the job and responsibility of every Rotary Club is also to encourage peace activities. So likewise, I hope we can also look forward to peace interactions, maybe hold a, a peace conference uh, in the coming days, uh, maybe with consultation with our PTG, we can, I think, organize because Right now, Nagaland is really in need of so much of conflict resolution. And Rotary having the mandate to be actively involved in peace and conflict resolution, I think we are in a position also to invite many other clubs in the Northeast and beyond in the country to come and listen to our stories as well as to also work out um, activities with us. Water has always been a major concern for Rotary Club of Kohima. We have actually held a lot of uh, water projects earlier in collaboration with American Rotary Clubs. And uh, we hope in the coming days we can still focus on water because uh, Kohima being the capital, all of us know there are so many colonies and so many areas where there's a great scarcity of water. If we can collaborate with other clubs and other grants, maybe if we can collaborate on those, I think we will still look at uh, taking up some water projects. And uh, I want to end with just a reminder to our members as well as to the ones who are coming in that Rotary believes in the four-way test. And that's a question that each Rotarian asks ourselves. And the questions that one asks oneself as a Rotarian is, is it the truth? Whatever you are speaking, is it the truth? Secondly, is it fair to all around? Are you a person who is being fair to people around you? The third is, will it build goodwill and better friendships? And the fourth test for every Rotarian is, will it be beneficial to all concerned? So when Rotary was started, this was actually the four-way test that is given to all new Rotarians coming where for every activity that we take, we are actually supposed to be asking ourselves these questions. I'm extremely excited uh, for the fact that now we have uh, 14 new Rotarians to be inducted by our district governor tonight, PDG tonight, and fortunately he has brought up 14 pins. Actually, every club is supposed to be ready with the pins, but... Uh, 1965. Uh, he has had a long, consistent and fruitful association with Rotary. He joined Rotary Club of Kimapu in the year 1999 and served as the district governor, the highest position one can achieve in the country for Rotary International District uh, 3240 in the year 2015-2016. He has been conferred with Outstanding Social Leader Award by the Government of Nagaland. He is also a recipient of the National Rotary Peace Award at the he was also confer uh, confirmed the highest award of Rotary International, that is Service Above Self Award during 2018-2019. He has also been conferred with the Governor's Foundation Certificate by the Governor of Nagaland on uh, 26 January 2017. He has been actively involved in many social religious and business associations across the country as well. He holds the office of the chairman of Indian Red Cross Society. He held the office of uh, general secretary to the Chamber of Commerce and Industries from 2008 to 2011 
and now serves as the Secretary, Dimapur Chamber of Commerce and Industries. First of all, I thank Rotary Club of Koima for inviting me for their 20th installation day at Koima. I thank Richard for the kind words about me. First of all, I congratulate and welcome the new inducted members who have been inducted today to the Rotary Fold. I am sure that they are going to be an asset to the Rotary Club of Koima in particular and to the Rotary International in general. Now, all the new members have the privilege to use the RTN, that is the short form of Rotarian, before your name. And I congratulate the Rotary Club of Koima that overnight they have almost double their members. <laughs> I thank Miss Shabi for the wonderful melodious special number she entertained us this evening. For the new members, there are certain responsibilities and obligations for the new members in the Rotary. And important of them are, you must attend all the club projects whenever the Rotary Club of Koima take. You must attend the Rotary regular meeting whenever is called, you must attend. So that you can exchange idea to serve better, to do more, to make this world a better place. You, we have certain amount to pay to the Rotary International and we need some fund for running the club. So it should be the primary duty to pay, pay your club dues regularly and on time. You can wear the label pin which was put on your collar proudly every day wherever you go so that the other people can recognize that you are a area and they also feel proud of you. Today, the Rotary International as the media past person Sami has done, it was established in 1905 on 23rd February. And now, our membership is 1.2 million, spread over 210 countries and having more than 45,000 Rotary Clubs. In India, we are having 4,000 plus Rotary Clubs and having a membership of approximately 1,80,000. And India is the highest growing country in membership in the world in Rotary. Nagaland TV, Sop Manulaga Awas. Watch us live on Geo TV and on your television sets as well. For Dumapu viewers, we are on channel number 994 in Global Chapter and Kohima and Mokokchong viewers, switch to channel number 138 on Hornbill Digital. For all news and updates, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube and Twitter.